So, uh, anything happening? Anything at all? No? Well, fuck. See you later. God fucking spit. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, just got a news alert about the Supreme Court. Probably some bullshit about parking tickets, race quotas, or... Jesus, Mary and Joseph. The decision is out. It's been issued by Justice Alito and Roe v. Wade, according to our reports from the U.S. Supreme Court and our own Shannon Bream, is that Roe v. Wade has been overturned and the question of abortion has been returned to the states. To regulate abortion is returned to the people and their elected representatives. Yes, yes. SCOTUS overturned. Forty nine years, forty nine years, thirty six million people, and this is a far right extremist Supreme Court. <laughs> Clarence Thomas, the tanky Terminator, ladies and gentlemen. Is there anything this man won't do this week? Between ass-blasting anti-gun authoritarians and overturning Roe v. Wade, you, uh, you think maybe those protesters showing up at their fucking homes might have had a bit of a whiplash effect? Just, uh, just out of curiosity. Clarence Thomas has dispensed more white pills this week than Pelosi's fucking pharmacist. And speaking of which... Today, the Republican-controlled Supreme Court has achieved their dark extreme goal of ripping away a woman's right to make their own dis reproductive health decisions because of Donald Trump, Mitch McConnell, and the Republican Party, their supermajority in the Supreme Court, American women today have less freedom than their mothers. Be aware of this. The Republicans are plotting a nationwide abortion ban. They cannot be allowed to have a majority in the Congress to do that. That is all what will spring from their decision that they made today. Hey, just who I want to hear from regarding reproduction. A woman whose last period was the Triassic. And yes, you saw that correctly. Granny Cankles was so cranky, her clip-on earring fell the fuck out. <laughs> and wait, the house leader for a party that's been pushing public restrooms for trannies before the fucking court and public crack pipe dispensaries is worried about extremism. The Democratic Party and mainstream news and entertainment apparatus that foist their Faustian narratives upon an unwitting public has veered so far to the left at this point, the Unabomber looks like a radical fucking centrist. I mean, we saw what happened, or rather didn't happen, to Pelosi's husband. When are we gonna lock this plasticine sea hag up for conniving under the influence? Oh, oh, but it's all the Wild West now. Hey. So anywhere, anytime can own a gun, protect their property at will with it, hang thieves, form vigilance committees, and any broad who can afford Penny Royal and Kohosh tea has ready access to abortion? Where the fuck do I sign up? And hey, now that we all know it's legit, any word on that Supreme Court leaker who committed a federal fucking felony? I only ask on account of we're wasting millions of taxpayer dollars on a January 6th hearing because some grannies decided to wave cocktail flags in the fucking rotunda and those people were put in prison before Pelosi had stopped cowering under her fucking desk. Relax, folks. She was just looking for her earlobes. Look, I've already talked this subject out on a mechanical basis. Whether you agree with abortion or not Roe v. Wade was a world-class fucking illegal decision. A case that revolved around a fictitious fucking rape for which perjured testimony was the original basis. And Norma McCorvey, who most know as Jane Roe now, maintained that this testimony was fallacious, even as Vice TV shit money in her fucking face on her deathbed and all but begged her to recant her prior remarks. You were raped while you were in Georgia? No, I wasn't. You were not? No, I wasn't. Oh, so all those stories that are in the books and so forth are not true? Yes, sir. Yes. They're not true. Right. I've sold drugs. I, you know, I, I, used, I, was, a, I was an abusive alcoholic for, you know, many, many years. Um, 
I've done a lot against his teachings. Um, but I, I think the far greater sin that I did was to be the plaintiff in Roe versus Wade. And no shit, dicks. Her saying she was manipulated by the religious right later is not a recantation of her admission of perjury. That stood, that stands, so sit on it and fucking spin. Any other case in American history, the entire case would have been thrown out at that precise admission. And that's without even entering into the true reason the Supreme Court overturned it today. Namely, that the true extremists on the court, such as Thurgood Marshall, that shambling shitbag, invented an entire portion of the 14th Amendment that does not exist. An amendment Chief Justice William Rehnquist hastened to add in his dissent was ratified in 1868 at a time when no less than 36 state laws already prohibited abortion, yet somehow none of them were altered even after its ratification. Rather, I return to my stench from the bench rant, which over the years is proving virtually evergreen. As you prepare for your night of rage, ladies, just remember, you weaponized the court. You and your ancestors enabled it to veer into the activist ether and facilitated that move at every fucking turn, in fact. Every time you activists were presented with an opportunity to neuter the powers of the overpowered, unaccountable court, you instead stacked that some bitch, and all too many Bolsheviks in black robes accommodated that strategy. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, may she rest in peace, was an activist at the end of the day. She was the former lead counsel of the ACLU you, which is today an activist organization, just as it was then. She knew the Supreme Court was not intended to be an activist body, and yet she accepted that nomination with the full fucking knowledge that her very presence was an affront to the institution, but nothing and no one lasts forever. She passed away tragically recently of cancer, and while I was glad to see her leave the court, I felt horrible for her family and loved ones that this woman literally remained on the court with a wasting, fatal illness an illness with a survival rate of something like 15 fucking percent just so they could retain the activist majority the court was never supposed to have to begin with. Shame the fuck on you for letting this wife, mother, and grandmother die on the bench to protect your power. There's no deadlier trap than the one you set for yourself. And so... Though I know these words will likely fall on deaf ears, I nevertheless renew my entreaty. Don't like the court killing your unconstitutional mandates? Perhaps you should consider my original proposal and that of many others. Neuter the nuts off the Supreme Court. It's insulated from electoral oversight and accountable only to the Senate who never seemed particularly interested in ensuring it. Simply put, the court shouldn't be this fucking powerful and they effectively have no check or balance on their authority. Even I, who could play ring toss with my erection after these two decisions, would sleep the sleep of the just if it were announced the court would be reined in from here on because it was never intended for anything even approaching this purpose. Look, for one thing, it should be easier to impeach them for activism, and regular review should be made of their Supreme Court decisions to parse them for political motivations. In theory, Congress could impeach any Supreme Court justice they want to. In practice, it hasn't happened since James motherfucking Madison still walked the earth, because Congress are too afeard of the fucking consequences. Now, you could fix this a number of ways. Perhaps allow the president to propose an impeachment investigation, and thus shouldering the onus of political consequences in lieu of Congress. Perhaps you could involve the electorate in some way. Whatever the fuck you decide, you lit this fire. Don't piss and proselytize now that it's burning down your property, too. Grab a bucket or bitch no more, because you can march till your muffs fall off. You pushed illegal decisions, you celebrated their passage, and it never once crossed your mind, as strict constitutionalists called it illegal activism, that perhaps they had a fucking point. Now it's reverse engineered into an engine of utter rectal prolapse for your side, and you're only pissed because you ain't behind the wheel? Oh, uh, God, what was that closing remark I was thinking? Oh, that's- Fuck right. you! I was right! Fuck you! I was right! Fuck you! I was right! Dead babies can take care of themselves. Dead babies can take things Good morning, Sunday morning. <laughs> There's no point in saying good morning because it certainly is not one. <laughs>